Let's take a look at how to use Ahrefs for finding some low cost per click keywords that you can advertise for on Google Ads. Now, to start with, I like to go to Google, do a search, look for the first ad. For whatever reason, there's not an ad up at the top, but normally you'll find an ad up here that you can find their website. You can see that I just copied the website from this uh, attorney here, and then I went ahead and I put their URL into the search bar, click go, and then it originally takes you to an overview that looks like this. And then I just clicked this keywords right here, which took me to the paid keywords for this website. So these are all the keywords that they've been advertising on Google Ads. And there's a whole slew of them here. Of course, you can export these, analyze them in more detail if you wish. But you'll notice that there's a CPC listed here for each of these keywords. And some of them, like Auto Accident Lawyer in Phoenix, it's only $8.22. Lawyer Accident is $90 per click, <laughs> right? So the easiest way to do this is just click at the top here. If you click twice, it's going to filter by the lowest to the highest cost per click. And now we can see that there are some, you know, personal lawsuit lawyers near me. That's only $5. Auto accident lawyers, that's $8.22. Truck lawyer, that's $11. So we can start to find some low cost per click keywords here that we could go after that aren't going to cost us $90 per click. Now, one thing worth noting is that Google Ads is an auction. So the more people are willing to spend on a keyword, Normally, the more money they're making from that keyword. Otherwise, the economics wouldn't make sense for them to keep running ads on those keywords, right? So that's why we, there are variances in the cost per click for keywords. Now, if you if you have a smaller budget, you know you might not be able to afford ninety dollar clicks and turn that into any sort of revenue at a decent rate. So there's definitely some reasons to look at advertising on lower cost per click keywords, especially if you have a lower budget to put towards your Google ads. It can help you get some traffic going, get a couple of leads and customers in, and then you can start scaling up and advertising on some of the higher cost per click keywords until you've got it profiting. And then of course, once it's profitable, you just want to get as many people through as you possibly can, right? It's kind of the idea. So the other thing you can do is you can filter specifically through cost per click. So you could say, I want anything from $1 to $30. Like in the event that there's like thousands of keywords that are potential here, you can set a specific cost per click range and filter down to just the keywords that are within that range. And then you could export those if you wanted and further analyze and figure out which ones you want to go after. It does look like there's some competitors in here, which we would probably want to skip because sometimes if somebody's looking for this other company, it's because they've already worked with them and they've got an issue or they need to speak with support or something. So usually advertising on other people's keywords is not going to be quite as effective as somebody who's like looking for a truck lawyer or, you know, personal lawsuit lawyers, something like that, right? So I hope you did find this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You just drop your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? So that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step-by-step -step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade in one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm gonna show you how to set up an SEO-friendly business name right from the get-go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> Best part is I'm gonna show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably gonna start charging for this 
at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.